Well, here's the left side of the mill. I'm pretty excited about this because having X and Y set up will be very useful. Um, I'm using the left side because the right hand side has the lead screw and I don't want all the oil getting in mixed in with the glass scale. So that means I'll have to route the cable down and under the knee and then just going to route underneath and back up the other side to the display. The cable will run down here. I'll use a P-clip to connect the cable to the back wall there. That stops it getting jammed up in any mechanisms. And then I'll go back the other side to the display. Something to think about here is that to keep the chips out of the scale, I probably want the opening to be the bottom. And that means the reed head has to be at the bottom. So my bracketry is going to come down from the, um, from the saddle here. It's going to be obviously going to be attached to that piece of the saddle. It's going to come down as a plate, probably wrap around the bottom of the reed head and lock it in place. By the time the scale is butted up against that lump in the casting up there, it's overhanging at this end. That, that surface is nothing like flat. I've also got to make sure that everything's nicely aligned. Now, the way I did the other one was I had some vertical slots and some horizontal slots. And that fixes two of the axes. Um, it means that using the two slots here, I can correct for any out of parallel in that direction. Using the two slots this way means I can correct for any out of parallel in this direction. But the one area where I'm stuck is if there's any out of parallel in that direction. But I've got an idea. So I've got this piece of 10 millimeter aluminium plate, which is more than big enough to make a, a sub plate for the scale to sit on. And, it, and I can tweak the length and I can tweak the height and I can have, I can rely on the the slotted mounts at the end of each each end of the scale and I can also I can also set up a three point jack screw arrangement on the aluminium plate that allows me to tune this plane into parallel with whatever I can get on the reed head um, that's the that's the best idea so far so I'm going to have a think about that I just thought before I finish this video off I might show you my um, video light stands. They're basically done now. Um, I showed them in a previous video but the the bases um, are weighted and they're on four casters and there's an upright stem and basically a, a flat MDF, thin MDF box that's got a, an opening that's the size of this floodlight in the back. There's a little bit of light leakage here, um, but the bulk of it comes through this diffuser in the front. I've doubled up the diffuser in the middle and it gives a nice flat, even light on, on my uh, work surfaces and stuff. And I made a pair of those. So yeah, I couldn't be happier really. Um, this arrangement here is shower curtain. I've actually got some white ripstop nylon and I'm going to um, overlock the edges and, and put proper hems around. But to do that properly, I would like to attach them with either Velcro or maybe elastic or something. And obviously I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> so uh, they're stuck on there with clothes pegs at the moment. And uh, I'll do that once the world comes back to normal. Well, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I know the job isn't finished, but in the spirit of getting more videos out, um, I'll leave that, leave that video there for now and hopefully get another video out tomorrow or the next day. Thanks. See ya.